bodies are home to trillions of bacteria, fungi and viruses. Communities of microorganisms like these make up a microbiome. These develop all over our bodies, on the skin, genitalia, mouth and arguably most important, the intestines. It may seem unpleasant, but we actually have a mutually beneficial relationship with these microbiomes. We provide food and a stable warm environment, while they help us break down food to release energy, produce vitamins and protect us against harmful bacteria. In fact, malfunctioning microbiomes have been linked with gut disease, obesity and even Alzheimer's. It's not just humans. Every other living organism has some relationship with the microbiomes living on and in them. Research is being conducted into the microscopic world of the Atlantic salmon. They are the most valuable farmed fish species, with more than 99% of all salmon consumed originating from a farm. The process of farming fish, known as aquaculture, first started expanding in the 1970s and is now the only way to keep up with consumer demand. Studies on farmed salmon have highlighted the huge changes caused by domestication. Changes that could alter the intestinal microbiome of farmed fish, possibly hindering the fish from fighting disease or using all the nutrients in their food. When farmed fish escape and breed with wild fish, gut bacteria in the resulting hybrids could be changed, threatening wild populations and the natural ecosystem. Millions of farmed salmon have escaped in the past decade from Norway alone. With further research, we hope to understand this possible risk to both the micro and macro biome, or even to optimize the microbiomes of fish in farms. Thanks to the Molecular Ecology and Fisheries Genetics Laboratory at Bangor University and the Institute of Marine Research, Norway.